Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today I'm going to show you a really awesome way to get some extra performance out of any series NVIDIA graphics card by manually updating the DLSS. However, we're going to talk about a few other things that I've noticed some other videos are not talking about. So stick around guys because I think you're going to find some good information no matter what side of the fence you end up being on at the end of a DLSS update. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining us on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future releases that come down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below. All right, my friends, so as we get into this video, I want to set down the expectations of what this video is going to provide you. First, it is obviously going to show you how to manually update your version of DLSS. For those of you who are unaware, this will affect any series video card. However, the 40 series cards are going to get the largest gain from it. Um, however, even on the 30 series and below, you should see some of the increases that I witnessed, okay? Um, and to talk about that for just a second here, again, setting the expectation, I did not see an FPS increase, but there is a reason why that I will discuss after we go through the installation. I did see an improvement in clarity, stability, smoothness, shadows, um, uh, lack of the shimmering, things like that. A lot of those are all gone for me now. So there was still an improvement and we'll talk about that more in depth as, as we move forward and as to why. Um, and you guys may see the same thing, which is why we're going to go through some of this stuff that I notice other channels have not. So without any further delay, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into the installation process of this and then get into the differences that are shown here. All right, you guys, so as we get started here, I want to make sure that you guys check out uh, Island Sim Pilot's channel. A link to this will be down in the description below. All credit goes to him. This is where I found all of this information. I'm just spreading the news. I know I have a larger base. Uh, and please, I hope you guys allow me to use that larger base. Please come over here to his channel. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. Really help him out because this is truly valuable information here, you guys. Uh, everything from the way that he is showing us how to do it to the um, to the process itself and the benefit, obviously, is is killer. Um, if you guys are on anything less than a 40 series, so 30 series and below, you're going to want to click this link here. If you are on a 40 series card, okay, you will want to go to this page here. Okay. You will select the top download here. Currently 3.510 is the latest. You will download that. Okay. And then you will also make sure to download the DLSS swapper. I just downloaded the executable and now we are, um, once you run it, you will be presented with a window that looks like this. Okay. And what's really, really nice about this is that with windows updates, for example, I am running sim update beta 14, just like uh, this gentleman was as well. Um, and uh, it tells you what version of DLSS is currently being used. And it has, as you guys can see multiple other games here that I have installed uh, that support this particular process. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Microsoft flight simulator here and check this out. You guys don't even need to download it. Actually, we can click it right here. Okay. We're going to go here and we're going to go swap. Oh, uh, from the downloads page first, I did. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There we go. All right, so we come here, grab it and down. This is slick. This is freaking slick. Uh, you guys can tell, like I said, this is my first time here uh, messing around with this tool here. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is we'll come back up to games. And we'll come here. And there's 3.5, and we're going to hit swap. All 
Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to um, do this if you're using frame gen. So 40 series and above. You, unfortunately, with the 40 series and above, uh, we have no choice but to do this manually. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna go to Windows Apps. We're gonna go to Properties. Gonna go to Security. Advanced. Change. Advanced again. Go into the find now section and I'm just going to find my user ID overkill. Okay. Click that hit. Okay. Hit apply. And hit okay again. And now I can get in there. Okay. So from here is where we're going to now search for, go back to my downloads folder. DLSSG is what I'm going to look for. And there it is right there. So for me, you guys may have multiple depending on your, um, what games and simulators you have installed. But you guys can see right here, the G file, I'm using 1.35. Okay, so here I'm going to right click on it. Go to open file location. Well, that one is October 30th, but anyway, if you had to do this on a later version, you want to rename this. Whoa, what happened? That was weird. To dll.old, you don't want to get rid of it. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to my downloads folder. Find this guy here, copy, and paste it in. Okay, so there it is, and that's it. And so that's the process for the 40 series card. Now, if you need to revert this, what we would do is either delete this one, and then find our .old and rename it and take the .old off and restart the sim and everything should be fine, okay? So that's how you would make a backup of it. And I'm going to show you guys also how to revert um, with the um, tool. So with the swapper. So to revert with the swapper, we're going to come back here, select Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we were on 2.413 is what it was before. We can go to, oops, cancel here. Go to library and find that 2.4 or any version that you were on. So take note of whatever version we were on before and you simply download it. And then if you come back, notice that now that 2.4 version and we would just hit swap and you'd be good to go. Okay, so that's how you would revert the changes for both sides and how you add the DLSS for uh, the frame gen. All right, so now let's go back into the sim. All right, my friends, so starting things right out, DLS 3.5 is enabled here, you guys. We are also using this one on DirectX 12 beta. When the screen shifts and you guys see it fade out, we will be on DirectX 11. So first, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. You guys notice I do not have a frame rate increase. Notice the giant red bar underneath the frame rate. This says main thread. That is your CPU. Every time we hear I need better FPS, what's the first thing we think? I need a better graphics card. That is not the case. In my particular situation here, I have the RTX 4080 and the limited by main thread means that my CPU is not able to generate frames fast enough or send frames fast enough to the, or the information, if you will, data to the GPU fast enough to be rendered. So that is why I am not seeing a frame rate gain. And by the way, just to make sure everything's labeled out here, we are currently over Los Angeles, California in the Milviz Cessna 310 at ultra settings. Okay, so let's talk about what I did see because I did not see a frame rate increase. And again, because in order for me to see an FPS increase, I would have to get a faster processor. Okay, or a more efficient processor, if you will. I'm currently running the AMD 3900 XT for those who are interested. So let's talk about what I did get. 
Shadows are no longer duplicated and broken. They are single shadows, nice, cr smooth, and crisp. The weird artifacts that we would see in terrain in the distance, as you guys can see on the screen, have gone away. Here we are on DirectX 11, you guys. So we have gone back to DirectX 11, seeing slightly better FPS. I have noticed that since DirectX 12 beta came around, that still with DX 11, I see a better performance. Um, <clears throat> again, same things. I'm not seeing any weird shadowing. I'm not seeing any of the shimmering go around the landing gear um, or any of that stuff. I am not seeing any of the weird artifacts that happens in the terrain or the textures of the clouds. Everything was very, very nice and very, very smooth and very, very steady. Um, in a minute here, we are going to switch over to my experience with the Pimax Crystal. Same thing across the board. With the Crystal, I actually saw a minor uh, frame rate increase, but like I'm talking four to six frames, nothing crazy. Any stuttering that you guys happen to see in these videos was a result of OBS. I did not witness them inside the sim. Okay, so a quick recap before we get into the last portion of this. The things that I saw fixed were performance-based, were quality-based. It was not an increase of FPS, and that is because of my processor. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure that you guys watch your FPS and understand where your break is. My CPU is bottlenecking the GPU. Basically, my graphics card is waiting on my CPU to send information to it. So I will not be receiving an FPS increase. Also, those of you who are on a 30 series card and below will likely see the exact same thing that I saw. You will not see necessarily an FPS increase, maybe, 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 maybe minor FPS increase, but likely what you will see is everything else I have mentioned. Shadows, artifacts, shimmering, things like that will be resolved and much clearer and much, much nicer. Same thing as you guys are seeing here in the Pimax Crystal, a massive improvement. My experience in the Crystal was probably the best it has ever been using the DLS 3.5. Now, caveat with the Crystal, I am also using Pimax's new implementation of Smart Smoothing, which the two together seem to be working very, very nicely together. So, in wrap-up, um, if you update the sim, you will want to verify that your version of DLSS has not changed because it will likely overwrite it. Please make sure that you guys use the tool that I have linked down in the description below. Um, that our island sim pilot uh, found for us um, as I do not want you guys if you can avoid it messing around with the Windows apps folder as you can absolutely break Windows. If you are on a 30 series and below you will likely see quality increases not necessarily an increase FPS. If you're on a 40 series card you will receive an FPS increase as long as you are not limited by main thread or limited by the CPU. As always, my friends, I truly hope you guys found this video to be educational and useful to you. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this. Please, once again, reach out to the, or go to the Island Sim Pilots uh, video and give him a like and subscribe as well. This is very, very valuable information, and uh, it certainly made a very uh, nice improvement to my quality of simulation experience. As always, you guys, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next one.